Sony presented here in Berlin on the IFA, like expected, the Z5, predecessor of the Z3, Z3 Plus, and big surprise, the big brother, Z5 Premium. As you can see, of course, bigger display. 5.5 inch now instead of 5.2, but also 4K resolution means 2160 by 3480 pixels, so you come to a premium density. I guess it could be world record um, of 800 ppi. Comparison 428 here, just like on the Z3 and Z3 Plus by Full HD. So, um, yeah, kind of doubled the pixel density, but you can't see anything like here on the screen, so we have to see with the final results. If we have that final review, we will compare, of course, let's say one photo and then have a look, a comparison. Do you see a difference in real life by photos and by videos? But, of course, it could be. Let's call it like that. Then, second, you have a totally new camera module. It's not only, it's not only 23 megapixels now, instead of 20.7 like the predecessor, but also totally new model by new lenses, new sensor, new software. First of all, you have now kind of a oversampling, like uh, making 8 megapixels photos by that 23 megapixel sensor, meaning kind of three times oversampling being very sharp, very precise, very exact, like color and sharpness and so on. And in addition to that, they have enhanced um, the um, autofocus. Now with uh, face detection pixels in that sensor, meaning you do not need any more that contrast that's really enduring very long taking time now you have just said okay this is this object is two meters away and one step need that all three possibilities are given in that meaning your face detection only you have uh, contrast only and a combination of that and the software is deciding in which situation what is doing the best results but in most cases Sony is uh, promising um, is enough that face detection uh, um, method and then you will have an autofocus in just one point, sorry, 0.03 seconds, 0.03 seconds only. Very, very quickly uh, you will have your, your images here. Um, this at least um, we will have to see too in the final test, of course. Then you might have detected that already, that we have new color versions here. This, it's, it's now matte on the backside. Uh, to have that comparison, maybe you can, uh, it's black on black, uh, <laughs> not easy here, but I guess you know already these former Xperia backsides. Now with that, not glossy, but with that, yeah, matte backside. I really love that design way more than this one, even if you see your fingerprints, of course, nevertheless, but it looks, um, in my opinion, more classy and better, but that's, of course, a matter of taste. On the other hand, you have seen here on the side is a new on-off standby button. That's not only a new design, but new functionality, because below that, you will find now a fingerprint sensor in all new Z5 models, meaning I've prepared this one over here, the Z5 before. First, you have to uh, read your finger, let's say 20 times, or if you're a lefty, you will take this finger, for example. So so you go here and afterwards you can just have a little press and then leave your finger on the sensor and round about one second. I repeat that now, yeah, one second I guess, round about, um, you have unlocked. Of course it's the same technology like in iPhone and uh, other phones you know, so it might be of course tricked out, but nevertheless it's better than nothing or just typing or doing nothing, so at least a little bit. So uh, I couldn't um, just with my own fingers here uh, make any um, mistakes for that, so it's what I call to better than nothing, but not 100% uh, secure of course. Again, it's like you know, uh, IP now 68, 69, meaning we have dust protection, water protection, everything, and a new processor, of course, the Snapdragon 810. 
new, not compared to the Z3 Plus, the Snapdragon 810 already, but to the Z3 series, let's call it like that, compared to the Z3, Z3 Compact, for example. So uh, if this is a good decision, we will have to see, because you know all these problems concerning the uh, Snapdragon 810 with its overheating and power going down, and especially uh, in the Z3 uh, plus, I've seen that. But on the other hand, just these days, Sony uh, unreased a um, overheating problem issue, degrading upgrade, however this might be called, to avoid all these problems and that shall reduce or eliminate even uh, these 810 problems. I do not have tested that already, but we will see with these if the final result, uh, the final products are here. That shall arrive at the end of September. September somewhere then. And last but not least, some words concerning the, um, the, the built-in battery. Here on the Z5 we have 2,900 milliamps, meaning even a little less than on the Z3 Plus 2,930. But on the other hand, you have a kind of new um, uh, technology uh, of the software, of the panel, of the uh, drivers for the Snapdragon processor and so on, we have to see. And here on the Z5 Premium, that sounds good, 3,700 milliamp, that's huge. So even for a 5.5 inch display in 4K, and even for a Snapdragon 810, this should be enough to bring you through the day. So, but nevertheless, we will test that, of course, uh, as soon as the final products are here. Yeah, that's, I hope, um, at least enough for a first view onto the Z5 and Z5 Premium here from the IFA in Berlin. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.